headsets vary a great deal in terms of their impedance. Um, unlike loudspeakers, which although they do vary, they have a, a low frequency peak and they then have a rising high frequency characteristic, and um, can be you can adjust for those in the amplifier that feeds a loudspeaker. Um, a headset driving amplifier has a much harder task because the headsets vary so much in terms of impedance, low frequencies, mid frequencies, high frequencies. And um, if the driving amplifier uh, is at all conscious of the impedance, which you know 90% of them are, they have to be, um, then you're going to get a considerable variation in frequency response and in distortion and in the overall effect that I can only call the, the depth or perspective of the sound that you're listening to. Especially you're listening in stereo and so you've got two sources and the sound from each left and right um, are not identical or they wouldn't be stereo and so you get a distortion of the stereo field. Um, now, the, what we have achieved in this Rupert Neve headset amplifier is an output stage with an extremely low source impedance, which is virtually um, uncaring, if you can use it, an expression of that sort, of the load that you place upon it. Um, it will drive the required voltage into uh, headsets which vary enormously in terms of impedance and efficiency and distortion. So I can't say too much about it. It gives you a sweetness and depth which you can't get any other way.